All right, so you're ready to solder your wire to your toy. And you've opened it up and you've been able to just identify a couple wires that you can solder to. Uh, this is basically how we're going to solder them together. Uh, you can actually do it a couple different ways. You can do it what's called in line, which is we basically twist these together uh, these these two wires together, the ends of it together, and and we solder it to make it like one continuous wire, or we can kind of do them where we kind of go together like this and twist them together this way. This is the much easier way to do it. Uh, this way is a little more proper, uh, but this will do just fine. So hopefully you can see. I'm just gonna do one at a time. And it doesn't matter which uh, of my headphone jack wires I solder to the toy wires. Uh, all I'm going to do is I'm going to bring one together and I'm going to twist it so that they kind of stay put together. Okay, there's that one. And I'll twist these together just so that they stay put as well. All right, so once you've got your wires twisted together, now we need to solder them. Now, solder is basically a metal that melts uh, and, and makes a good electrical connection onto these wires. So we'll use a soldering iron. Now, the tip of the soldering iron is very hot. So make sure you don't touch this part of the, the, the iron. And what we're gonna do is essentially heat up the wire using the iron, and then we're gonna bring in our solder to the wire, and essentially we're just gonna almost like paint it on. We're gonna start at the base of the wires and work our way out to the tip, coating all that wire with solder. So I'm gonna bring my solder in. Make sure I'm not touching the toy so I don't burn it. Uh, but I'm gonna bring this in, kind of heat up the wire. And this solder melts almost instantly once you get the iron hot enough and the wire hot, hot enough. All right, so bringing my solder in now. I'm just gonna work my way out, tip. I'm not an expert at this by any means. You don't need to be either. Doesn't need to look pretty, it just needs to make a good connection. So that one's good to go, and now we'll do this one. We'll heat this wire up. Bring in the solder. Try not to breathe in the fumes. <laughs> Okay, that's all it is. Now this solder may have slight amount of lead in it. So once you're done soldering, you wanna make sure you wash your hands just to make sure you get any of that off. Uh, but now these are good to go. And this solder cools pretty darn quick, so you can touch it almost right away. Uh, the last thing we need to do before we sew this toy back up or finish is we need to test to make sure the connections work using a button. Just plug it in, make sure your toy's on, hit the button and make sure that the toy operates as expected. Uh, and then if that all works out great, then we need to use heat shrink wire covers on each of these wires to protect these connections. So the heat shrink wire covers, um, all you do is cut it to the size that you need, slide it over your wire, and now heat it up with the heat gun. Alrighty, and just like that, those wires are now protected. They're not gonna touch. Uh, you're gonna do the other one the same exact way. And, and then you can go ahead and put your toy back together or sew it up and uh, make sure it works when everything is back together. You wanna double check and make sure everything that, that you did works. So let's back up a few steps and talk about what you would do if we decided to solder these in line with each other. Um, you could totally do it. It's a great way of doing it. Uh, you, one thing you wanna be aware of is you need to get the heat shrink wire cover on the wire before you solder it. Because once you solder it, it's gonna just be one continuous wire essentially and you won't be able to get that cover on at that point. So you wanna make sure you get it on and you kind of move it away from the iron because the iron's hot and that heat will shrink the cover. So 
if you're gonna do it in line, just make sure your, your covers are kind of away from the initial soldering. Get it on before you solder, and then once you're done soldering, slip it over the connection and heat it up just like normal.